What's going cool on YouTube? Geosnorite here, so in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for an iOS 12.x and iOS 11.4.x jailbreak. Very important things happened in the community in the past few hours and we're closer than ever to an actual jailbreak. I'm going to start with Teamstar, who managed to pretty much get task for PAD0 on iOS 11.4.1, which very likely works on 11.4 as well. This is actually very good news for the iOS 11.4.1 people, but do not worry if you're running iOS 12, I also have great news for you down the road. So I'm going to start with iOS 11.4.1, Teamstar posted just a few hours ago in here, quote, got TFP0, yay, now I just need to clean up the kernel after exploit so it doesn't panic on exit. So as you can see here, he pretty much posted the fact that he was running the uh, iOS 11.4.1 exploit that he was working on for a few days I think, or for a few weeks now, and he finally managed to get the uh, task for PAD0 or the kernel task port, which pretty much at this point would definitely help to build a jailbreak or to update the already existing jailbreaks like Uncover and the Electra. And actually, pound to own posted in here, quote, congratulations, looking forward to implement this in. So he might be updating the Uncovered jailbreak once this gets released. And there is no word from Timstar on whether this is going to be released or kept private, but as far as I can see, this will be released. So yeah, definitely very good news for both the iOS 11.4 and iOS 11.4.1 people. Let's switch gears now to the iOS 12, because there are very good news there as well. If you go ahead in here, Minspark Zeng has posted, quote, Mac port oriented programming attack, proof number two, getting task for PAD0 and root on iOS 12.1.2, iPhone 6s. And he posted a screenshot with an iPhone running iOS 12.1.2 and also his terminal window where he pretty much caught the kernel task board in there as well. So yeah, as you can see, it has been achieved on iOS 12.x as well. We do not know whether this is fixed on iOS 12.1.3, but for the moment it seems to be compatible with the latest version, which is definitely great because if Min actually releases this, we're going to have pretty much an exploit with task for PAD0 for the latest version at this moment of iOS, which is definitely going to be good. Now, there is no word on any release in here and compared to Timstar, this person here has never released actual jailbreaks before, but he did release a remount for the iOS 11.3 and iOS 11.3.1 back in the summer, so he did release things in the past that may benefit the community. Let's hope for the best. But anyways, iOS 12.0 all the way up to iOS 12.1.2 does seem to have a kernel exploit with task for PAD0 now, which is definitely going to be very big for the jewelry community because it's one of the very important components we need. It doesn't make a jewelry on itself, but it's very important because it helps us to pretty much get started with building a jailbreak and with messing with core trust and so on. So definitely very good news. And speaking of good news on iOS 12.x, Simo has posted, quote, a POC for an iOS kernel UAF or use after free. I found last year, CVE 2018-4420 fixed in iOS 12.1. This requires host brief port to be triggered. More bugs soon. So he pretty much posted a proof of concept bug or vulnerability that is pretty much working on iOS 12.0 all the way up to 12.0.1 and it's a kernel use after free. Now although this doesn't provide the kernel task port, it may come in handy and it has been released. So yeah, definitely a lot of very good news in a very short period of time. Now something very important I forgot to mention about the exploit that Timstar has in here with TFP0 is that the exploit only works all the way up to iPhone 6s Plus, so the iPhone 7 and newer, which do not have the headphone jack, are not supported. There is nothing to worry about the headphone jack itself, but the problem is that it won't work on the KTRR devices. So yeah, this is pretty much one of the problems for the moment. I do not know whether Timstar will update his exploit to work on the newer devices as well. But anyways, these are very, very good news for the moment. We went from literally nothing for iOS 11.4.1 or iOS 12 to very, very good development in the community. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. We'll keep you updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community. I am Gio Snow. Until next time, peace out.